Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the pipe router. And again, this is another flow organizational node, and it's not technically a node that you can input, but it's considered a flow organization node within Fusion. So we've got our little uh, Fusion composition going here, and we want to kind of organize some of this stuff. And we've been talking the last few days about organizing things. And there is one thing I did forget to mention. So let's say we want to take all of our text we had here and create an underlay. So we can hit shift space underlay, which is one of our flow organization nodes. We can uh, set our color to, I don't know, let's say blue and we're going to hit F2 and we're going to rename this to uh, text. And uh, for our other nodes, if you remember right, it's going to go through and try to rename all of our nodes. So I'm just going to hit cancel, cancel, cancel. So now we've got our little underlay here with all of our uh, text nodes. And then we talked about the group. So if I want to group all this stuff, we've got our multi merge for our text, our transform for our text. If I just want to group all this together, so it's in one big group for our text transformation stuff, I can just select it all and uh, hit control G or I can right click and select group. So now we've got all of our text within this little group, nice and neat. So we can close this. And again, I can hit F2 or I can right click and select a rename and let's rename this to text nodes. So now we know this is all of our text. Now what the pipe router does is it allows you to make connections so we can fix some of this crisscrossing and make stuff a little straighter if we want. So we can bring this down, clean it up a little bit. And if I hit alt and click on my line, it's going to create this little pipe router. So then I can raise it up. I can add another one if I want to uh, straighten it up by hitting alt click and move it over. Now, the one thing I did forget to mention the other day was this comments. Every one of these little organizational nodes allows you to create a comment. So if I was passing this off to somebody, I could uh, add little comments. So say right here, I wanted to uh, tell them to add a little color correction to the background. So I could say change hue of background. So now they've got a little note. So if they click over this, they know I wanted to change the hue of the background before it comes into this merge. Or if I wanted to do some extra stuff, if we play and we uh, look at our little uh, keyer here, we see the string in the background was removed by our key. So it looks a little odd with the string. So I could in here say, add uh, paint node to remove string. So as I pass this along, people can jump in here and I could either make a note. If you remember, we had our little note here. So we had a sticky note. I could also add a note on each one of these so they knew, or I can add that in the comments. So on our group, we can also add comments and on our individual underlay, we can add comments. So since this is such a short video, <laughs> let's go ahead and fix this string. So one way we could do to uh, fix this string would be just to use the paint node. So we can go here and remember our note said add paint node to remove string. So right on our little pipe router, we can just hit shift space and add a paint node. So now we've got a paint node and on our paint node, let's go ahead and select our, uh, polyline and we're going to select this wire removal because we can use wire removal for string and uh i could probably get away with two but i'm going to do three little lines because i kind of wanted to show you an issue sometimes we get when tracking multiple points on a single line so now we've got our little polyline here and uh, we're going to go over here first change this to edge blend and then I'm going to change my angle to rotate that edge out of the way. So now our string 
is gone ish it's there a little bit but that'll be good so we want to track this point so we select that point and first i'm going to hide all my handles so once that point is selected i can say publish to intellitracker and we've got our little tracker here so i'm going to bring this in connect this to our media out because we can use these pipe routers to connect multiple things just like we can our out so on our tracker i'm going to go here and track forward and backwards since i was on that frame Now we've got a track and if we go back to our paint node and we uh, push play, you can see we need to uh, change our little lines here. So I can select this point and say points follow nearby tracks. Select this point and say points follow nearby tracks. So now if I play, all of our points are following. And we still need to change that angle up a little bit. And there we go. Our string is uh, pretty much gone. So let's go ahead and fit and look and we'll double check. So now we don't have that annoying string popping on and off anymore. We are good to go. So then we can take these two nodes since this is our little paint node and we can clean this up so we can hit control G. F2 and just name this to uh, string fix. So now we know what that node's for. And over here, we wanted to uh, add a uh, hue. So technically, I can just select this, add a uh, color node. I can select my little organization over there, move this over, and uh, now we can go change the hue to whatever hue we'd like for the background. And there we go. So that is using the pipe router to uh, organize our little nodes and keep it nice and clean. Because believe me, this is a short little tiny composition, but once we start getting huge stuff, we are definitely gonna wanna use these to keep our uh, little node trees nice and organized. So that is the pipe router. I will see you in the next node breakdown.